I'm joined now by uh, Senator Dianne Feinstein, who led today's hearings into the Ramos and Campion case, and Senator John Cornyn. Uh, together, they uh, led the questioning over the, uh, the hearing. Uh, if I may, uh, Senator Feinstein, let me begin with you. Uh, you were, uh, frankly, far more determined than I expected. I thought you were uh, aggressive. Uh, did you learn what you wanted uh, to in today's hearing? Yes, I learned what I wanted to learn, and basically I think this is a case of prosecutorial overreach. Uh, Senator Cornyn and I have talked, and we have decided that we will write a letter to the president, and we will urge commutation of the sentence, uh, both of Border Patrol Agent Ramos and Border Patrol Agent Campion. Senator Feinstein, can I just say thank you? That's amazing. Uh, and Senator Cornyn, it is, uh, I, I think, for those of us who've been following the case, to watch uh, uh, the five senators in that room today, to watch each of you, uh, it was uh, restore. Uh, I, I think we could call it restorative. Uh, you were looking for the truth, the idea of seeking computation. I, I know uh, two families that are going to be thrilled, as well as those two men, for your efforts. What, uh, what changed, if you indeed your views were changed, uh, after today's hearing? Do you want to go ahead, John? Well, Lou, I, I would say, uh, I think, as Senator Feinstein indicated, uh, this sentence was clearly excessive, and uh, mainly because uh, a statute that Congress never really intended would be applied to a law enforcement officer under these circumstances uh, gave a minimum mandatory 10-year sentence stacked on top of the other offenses. And then, of course, there was the immunity deal offered to this drug dealer and an unlimited visa which allowed him to travel back and forth without supervision and probably allowed him to do another, uh, dump another load of narcotics in the United States. Uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of mistakes, a lot of errors that uh, just didn't need to be. Let me, if I, if I might just add sure. to that, because I agree very much with what Senator Cornyn said, and I think the fact that he's a former Texas State Supreme Court jurist means something a great deal in all of this. Uh, I'm not a lawyer, but I have sat on the Judiciary Committee now for some 14 years and hopefully have picked up some law. Um, the reason I say this is a prosecutorial overreach is because 12 counts were charged against these two men. There were, in fact, plea bargains. The plea bargains submitted uh, by the prosecutors were for sentences maybe in the vicinity of two and three years. They were turned down by the defendants. What the jury didn't know was that the mandatory sentence was in one of these counts. Right. And that mandatory sentence was 10 years. So if they found them guilty, they had no choice but to have 10 years put on top of everything else, which would have totaled about two years. So well, it seems to me that there is a good case that can be made uh, for a commutation of sentence. A commutation uh, uh, of sentence. Uh, we, uh, uh, we also have uh, in Congress the House of Representatives uh, pushing through uh, Congressman Hunter's uh, pardon. Uh, seeking a congressional pardon for these agents. A pardon is also possible. Do you think you're using, uh, obviously you're referring to a commutation of sentence. Uh, why would a, a pardon uh, not be as effective in, or as desirable in, in your judgment? Senator Cornyn. If I could weigh in on that, and I, let me just say that uh, Senator Feinstein, uh, I'd, I'd take her over a lot of lawyers I know any day. Uh, <laughs> After but, watching her today, I think a lot of people would agree with you. She's tough. But I have to tell you that, uh, of course, a pardon or commutation it was both within the power of the, of the President of the United States. Uh, obviously, Scooter Libby getting a commutation of his sentence uh, by the President recently, and I hope he'll give the same sort of consideration to these two Border Patrol agents. But uh, I know Congressman Hunter, in the absence of that executive branch commutation or pardon, has introduced a bill. Um, I'm going to have to look at that uh, to see if I, I think that'll fly. I think that's, in the absence of anything else, a good effort, but I think eventually this is going to be something the president's going to have to consider. There, so, there's one more thing that yes, I'd sir. just like to yes, mention, Lou, that became clear to me in this case, that a law enforcement officer 
uh, face with somebody that's bringing over a million two hundred thousand dollars worth of marijuana and the culprit wants to escape so the law enforcement officer says stop and the culprit just keeps going now he cannot fire he cannot stop him uh, so he is faced with either having to outrun him and let's say it's a 45 year old no. police officer how does he outrun a 22 year old the fact is he can't and i think this may be one of the reasons why we've got so much so much drugs coming across the border yeah. uh, some and the law, law enforcement yeah. officer says stop and it means nothing and this uh, so we've much. got to take a look at you know, Senators, uh, to both your credit, you referred to uh, to what Congress needs to do here. We've had a 30-year war on drugs, and uh, the tragedies and the casualties in that war uh, have been enormous. Uh, we've got to come to terms with it. I want to. I, I just have to say, as one who's been following this case carefully, uh, closely, and. Uh, looking for justice for these two agents. Uh, I'm uh, moved by your decision, uh, both of you, to uh, seek a, a commutation from the president. I hope that uh, your interest will uh, continue, and uh, we thank you for your interest to this point. Uh, it was a remarkable proceeding today. I have to tell you, as you both know, that I'm some, I'm, I'm a, I'm a rigorous critic of Congress. It's oh, nice yes. to see Congress, uh, Senator Fox. <laughs> uh, it is nice to see uh, Congress, uh, in the Senate, and in the in the persons of yourselves, uh, doing the job that uh, the people put you in office for. I, I just can't commend you too highly uh, for your efforts and uh, for your good hearts. Thank you both. Thank you. Thanks, Lynn. Thank you. A reminder now to vote in our poll. The question is, do you believe Congress is serious about correcting the outrageous miscarriage of justice against Ramos and Capion? Yes or no, please cast your vote at LouDobbs.com. We'll have the results for you in just a few moments. And next, Congressman Ted Poe. He tells us why he's demanding a presidential pardon in this case. We'll continue in one moment.